Hey everybody, welcome back to Risky. Today I'm at my mom's place in Nebraska and we're gonna have my mom answer a bunch of your questions that I got from you on Instagram. We're gonna show a bunch of riding clips with her and her husband, Doug. It's gonna be awesome, let's do it. Over the years, I've posted a lot of pictures and videos of my mom riding stand-up jet skis, and there's always questions popping up. So we're gonna get into those questions. I got those off of Instagram from you guys. What's the very favorite ski that you've ever ridden? That I've ever ridden would probably be my son's 2000 purple, not blue, super jet. When did you first learn to ride a stand-up jet ski? Well, it may surprise you, but actually, before you were born. <laughs> no, I just tried it once before he was born and thought it was fun, but I learned from him when he bought a, this very ski in about 2012. Yeah, it was summer of 2012 when I got that one and I had never ridden one before, just kind of got it spur of the moment. Yeah, he got it and brought it to Calamus where I now live full time and he made me try, of course, and I did pretty good. I think, at least I didn't wreck right away. I couldn't only turn to the left, I think, but not the right. Uh, some other people asked, have you ever tried riding in the surf? Because I live in Oregon now, and that's where, that's why I moved to Oregon. So have you ever tried riding in the surf? No, just taking pictures of Stuart and Jessica and Riley and a few of you others. But I won't ride in the surf. Don't, don't ask me to do that. That would be disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday we can talk her into it. <laughs> when you started jet skiing like regularly, because you live on the lake, you're riding all the time, way more than I do. What ski did you ride at first? Kawasaki SXR. That's the one that I rode for real. You've had several years riding the SXR and then now super jets. What's your favorite trick that you've learned? <gasps> Maybe not a trick, but like, what's your favorite thing to do on the ski? Is it to carve high speed turns? Is it to spin around? Is it to it's something else? Well, I just like to slide the ski. I'm not real good at it yet, but that's what I practice on a lot. Yeah! Ho ho ho! Woo Look at that smile! Yeah! Riley wants me to learn how to do a submarine. That's likely not going to happen either. <laughs> yeah, we were working on submarines yesterday. <laughs> I didn't try it, though. You said most of your ride time was on the SXR to begin with, and now you're riding a super jet that I had in Oregon. Now that you're riding the super jet, and that ski has a bunch of modifications like wide tray, foot straps, front foothold, uh, kind of what's your favorite part of that ski? That toe kick or whatever you want to call it helps me with my balance yeah the front foothold is where you can kick your toe under it and just get a little bit of extra grip so you don't fall out of the tray yeah and uh, it also has foot straps in the back and a widened tray i like the wider tray too because we have another super jet and i definitely prefer this one with the mods that riley and stewart did the wide tray does make it a lot easier to handle this is kind of a funny question what is your dog's name? Because I know you just got a uh, yellow lab. If you've been on our Instagram, you probably saw some stories about, about that dog. What's his name? His name is Risky. I think it might have should have been Marley, but his name is Risky, and it's spelled R-S-K-I, just like the Risky Riders. <laughs> well, this dog better shape up because he's a troublemaker right now. So <laughs> He's a naughty dog. He is. What is your very favorite riding memory or story? This one came from my friend on Instagram and I'm curious to, to what you're gonna say because we did not practice this. Well, probably my favorite, most favorite was when Riley and Stuart brought me the SXR for the first time and I just had to learn from there and we all went out and just had a blast, I guess, the very first ride that we did, I got scared and we were all riding toward next to the dam and I took off so fast I thought I was going to crash. I didn't even know what I was doing. So that's <laughs> kind of fun. 
I remember Stuart and I looked at each other as she passed us like the first couple days she was writing a stand up and we were both amazed. She picked it up so fast and the, the SXR is faster than our skis. So she just passed us at full speed. <laughs> but I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's probably my best initial time. And then um, now I just like riding with my family, especially this kid. And my husband, of course. <laughs> well, there's other there's other parts of the family that are riding jet skis now too. This this question came from inside the family. Um, how cool are your grandkids? And everyone wants to know if they can ride stand ups yet. Two of them have been on. Actually, all three of the jet skis now, and um, one of them. He's awesome, and he just loves it. And Riley's his hero. <laughs> And um, his sister, a little bit older, she loves it too. They also have sofa skis. <laughs> sofa okay? skis, couch, it just means not a stand-up. Right, right. Just, and they seems like they still prefer the stand-up skis. And we had another granddaughter that she just graduated high school, and she came. She did it great. She picked up on it, you know, just like they all do. They're young, and they don't know. Like me, I can get hurt. They can never get hurt, so... Well, it's, it's cool. It, it's cool to see the tradition is carrying on. <laughs> Grandma's teaching the grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the fun of it. What do you enjoy about jet skiing the most? Um, well, being with my family, grandkids, friends. Um, I like the independence because I don't have to rely on the boat to pull me anymore. I have my own little boat. Yeah, she actually was a slalom skier, uh, water skier for many years behind the boat that's right over here. And when I moved to Oregon, she didn't have anyone to pull her. So that was how we got her started with stand-up jet skis was, look, you don't need a boat. You can drive yourself around the lake. And that really got her started into it. So what, what about riding with family did you want to mention? Well, I just, I just like watching... Once again, the grandkids learning something that they can build on, you know, they can, it's so much fun. I, I, it's my most fun thing that I do. That probably didn't sound good, but it is. It's the funnest thing that we do and we do it together and love it, so. It's definitely the most fun thing I've ever done. Anything else you wanna add? Um, one of the first times that my husband and I took our stand-up jet skis out, there was a young man, when I say a young man, he was probably 12 years old, he saw us and we, we would take our lawn chairs with us so we could, when we get tired, we could sit on the beach and watch other people. And he saw that and he goes, do you sit there on that lawn chair and ride that ski? <laughs> and I said, no. I said, we're just taking this so we can sit down. And I just think that was the funniest thing, so. Yeah, there's no seat on it. So I guess yeah. you could sit on the lawn chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he thought we were gonna do. One of the questions that came in was, what is your favorite ride spot? I know you've ridden in Oregon and Nebraska. What's your favorite ride spot? Well, in Nebraska, which is where I'm usually at in the summertime, and we have a special cove. We call it the Hourglass Cove. It's merely like this is next to the lake, and then the little cove in the back is the Hourglass, and it is always just glass, so we like that. You could see the reflection off the water when you're carving the turns. You can see yourself like a mirror. Yeah, and you can like slide across the lake, literally. You can't, for me, I can't tell when I'm close to the trees or whatever. So I just, I love it. But my favorite in Oregon, which I've been there several times, and it's not on the surf, but it's a river, the Will? It's called the Willamette River. Willamette River, sorry. Stu and Jessica and myself, and of course Riley, found a little place that had some buoys set up for slalom skiing. And we had three jet skis, so we had to share. And it was a blast. We just went all over the place, and Riley took some film of that too. That was a lot of fun for all of us. That's my favorite in Oregon. Yeah, that was a whole YouTube video called Buoy Course, and it's still on our YouTube channel. You can scroll up and find it. And that was a really fun day. So if you want to see us messing around on the buoy course, check that out. And if anything else pops up, hit us up in the comments. 
and I'll be sure to just ask my mom any questions you have. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Ha, ha, ha.